Hello, everybody, and welcome to Japan B League action for the 2021 22 season. This is the battle between High Flyers, the Ryuku Golden Kings, and the visiting Chiba Jets. Well, no team has played as well, arguably, as the Ryuko Golden Kings on the evidence of their record this season. They've got the best in Japanese B-League action uh, all season and leading the West. They will be taking on the leaders of the East and the defending champions, in fact, of the B-League, uh, Chiba Jets. And you can see the expectations are sky high for the basketball fans here uh, today, uh, as they watch their home team, Ryuku, uh, come out uh, and trade blows with the Jets. There they are at 47 and 6, Ryuku uh, over there in the west on the right, and Chiba Jets at 33 and 9. And, uh, well, one thing that we do know is that both of these teams will be advancing uh, to the postseason, and uh, uh, once again, underlining uh, how good of programs they have got. So, uh, recent action uh, as you look here at Ryuku taking on Nagoya and uh, coming out and hitting them from all angles. Uh, Kishimoto, of course, always a big factor. Hamilton, Gary Hamilton also. And Alan Durham uh, showing his wealth of... Uh, experienced Jack Cooley uh, no doubt one of the best players in this competition uh, in recent seasons and they rolled to an 88 68 victory over Nagoya and Chiba Jets meanwhile have been hard at it as well taking on Utsunomiya Bricks and uh, well coming out and you can see Mooney uh, doing his bit to, to bring him back. And uh, then the three-point shot uh, from uh, their star, Tagashi, the Jap Japan national team player, Gavin Edwards, uh, coming out and stroking uh, the three-pointer late in the fourth quarter and setting up a, a dramatic finish. And, of course, uh, Brex uh, not able to overcome that uh, so just a, a great come from behind win in their last game and uh, trying to, to make sure they are playing well at the right time of the season, the business end of the season. So we've got Chiba Jets and you look at their, you look at their uh, roster today and it's a good one again. Josh Duncan, Yuki Togashi, uh, Raita Akaho, Hiromasa, Omiya Omi not here, but Hikaru Futagami, uh, uh, also uh, Sota Okura, coach uh, Atsushi Ono. We'll talk about the, the, some of their other players, Gavin Edwards, of course. And will it be a back-to-back -back season, a back-to-back -back rather, uh, titles uh, for Chiba Jets? That would be quite an accomplishment uh, if they were able to pull that off this season. And they're starting five today. Well, they're going to come out with Duncan. Uh, Tagashi, there's Duncan. Uh, Sato, uh, Shudahara, and Mooney. So John Mooney in that starting five, as well as Shudahara. And Duncan comes out. He's no introduction. He's been around the blocks in Japan, as has that man right there, Tagashi. And uh, talking about uh, Takuma Sato, uh, very dangerous weapon, of course, Mooney coming out there last. Uh, but they've also got some great talent uh, coming off the bench. And you need to have good rotations in the B League if you are going to have some success. So the lights have been lowered, as is always the case here, and the fans uh, adding to their excitement uh, before the Golden Kings are introduced.
So all the hard work, all the preparation, all the practices, the road trips, all the challenges, the hurdles that have had to be overcome as we get to this stage of the season, you look back and all the hard work has paid off for both of these teams as they're poised to head into the postseason and they would like to get a big win today. And you can see the Golden Kings of Ryuku fired up and ready to rumble. So Gary Hamilton comes out, Narito Namizato. Yuki Mitsuhara comes out. Shota Onodera with the big smile. And also the starting five, Co Flippin, and that's a player the Chiba Jets will know very well because he was with them last season. So he's looking to go back to back personally in terms of the titles. Dwayne Evans. Ryuchi Kishimoto, who is a uh, bundle of activity. And you've also got uh, Imamura. Keita Imamura and Jack Cooley. Well, you might think there's pressure that goes along with a game like this, but you can uh, bet your bottom dollar that all of these guys enjoy being out on the court. I mean, what else would you like to do? Head coach for Ryuko Golden Kings, uh, Dai Okitani. And don't forget the Ryuko Golden Kings uh, in last year's championship lost two to one to Chiba in the semifinals but yeah back to that point about it's a job it's uh there's pressure but at the end of the day it's basketball and these two teams boy you know the players love being in environments like this Cooley wears number 45 and you've also got uh Imamura uh, wearing number 30, Kishimoto 14, Evans 13, and there's Ko Flippin wearing number four. Tagashi uh, comes out in his uh, number two, as usual. Sato, number 14, Shudohara number 31, Mooney 33, and Josh Duncan, the one and only one, number one. So we're about ready to start things off here in the Okinawa Arena. So friends, before the game, foes during the game and they'll be friends after the game but buckle them up folks uh, the intensity is going to be high in this one well, a couple of former Notre Dame players uh, jumping center there at the start Mooney and Cooley and it's uh, Ryuko Golden Kings Cooley, Cooley winning the opening tip and driving in and uh, missing with their first attempt. Duncan, quick outlet over to Shudahara. Here comes Duncan, establishing himself, but missing, and Cooley grabs the rebound. Now flipping. He can penetrate, dish, 
He can score. And, well, oh, looked almost like he fumbled the ball away, but in fact that was a pass and it led to a foul. Evans and Kishimoto for three. That's what he does. He's not afraid and he sets the tone uh, for what uh, his fans will be hoping is a big win today. Bounce pass, down low to Mooney and the foul called on Evans. I think it was on Evans. Maybe it was on uh, Co Flippin. We'll let you know. Anyway, Evans tries to deny Mooney the basketball. Sato out to shoot Ohara. Here's Duncan. He can shoot it for a big fella. And it, nevertheless, they get it back over to uh, Sato, and his attempt is off target. Yeah, the foul was on uh, flipping. Here he is scoring with a reverse layup. And it's a 5-0 lead for Ryuku. Mooney hands it off to Shudohara. Now he's going to try to back up Evans. No, he's facing the basket instead. Baseline is sealed, so he gets it back over to Duncan for three. And uh, he only grazes the net. Good hustle. Now... I'm not sure if they if they reset the shot clock. It says there's 12 seconds on the shot clock, but if you only graze the net, the ball didn't hit the rim. Uh, nobody's going to say anything. Well, maybe they are. Yeah, they are going to take take the shot clock down to two seconds. It should not have been reset. So the Golden Kings uh, being rewarded for their good defense or from the uh, wayward shot of Duncan. Tagashi. Going to be a quick catch and shoot, most likely. And shot off the back of the iron. Mooney goes for the rebound. Here comes Kishimoto again. Leaves his feet, passes back outside to Ko Flippin. And the Japan International from the top of the key. Drills it. Tagashi, he launches it and still looking. Uh, Mooney reached over Evans, uh, but still could not rebound the basketball. And Ryuku Golden Kings out to a 7 0 lead. Evans. Gets it to Cooley. Cooley spins, puts it up, and Shudahara doesn't rebound it, only taps it out, and Evans again with another look for Golden Kings. Here he goes. And with a little Statue of Liberty-esque move, Evans drives in and takes the lead to 9 nothing, forcing a timeout to be called by the defending champions. They look good, they look comfortable. And they look like a team uh, that has the best record in uh, the B-League. So a lot of huffing and puffing over there on the bench. Uh, for the Golden Kings, and not surprisingly, as they've got that 9-0 lead and all this work that Chiba Jets have been doing, they've not even uh, put any points on the board. So, Coach Ono having to call a timeout just to get some type of uh, change in the flow of the game, maybe try to throw their opponents off their rhythm or get them out of rhythm.
So the ball has been inbounded and Tagashi brings it up to court for Chiba Jets. This battle of high flyer is going right now the way of Ryuku Golden Kings. And you think it's imperative coming out of a timeout that uh, Ryuku gets some, or rather uh, Chiba Jets gets something. Tagashi fouled as he puts it up from three point range by Kishimoto. So three free throws coming for Tagashi. There's almost a four point play opportunity. Look at this. Yep, both feet behind the arc. And always a danger when you go out and you, sh and you challenge that three point shooter. You want to get a hand in the face, but you don't want to make contact with the player. And it happens so often these days. So Chiba Jet fans breathe a sigh of relief as they get on the board. makes this he will convert the opportunity and he did so uh, very uh, important sequence you would think for Chiba Jets is uh, they get three points after the foul and finally get off the snide Imamura looking for space gets in very athletic his pass to Evans uh, gets away but Evans finds it now Shimoto and Imamura with the rebound. Evans, nowhere to go. Passes it back to Ko Flippin. Shot clock down to four. It's Ko Flippin on Yuki Tagashi. Spins, puts it up, and there you go. Just like he used to do in practice. Now he's doing it against a big game. And... Of course, uh, Coach Flippin had a huge championship last year. The bounce pass kicked away, so they'll put it 14 on the shot clock. The way this Golden Kings team has played this season, you simply do not want to fall behind them early like uh, Chiba Jets have. And Josh Duncan, meanwhile, comes out and strokes the three-pointer. Well, if he's going to be that wide open, he's got to take it. Now, Co Flippin. Wow. Flippin, hey, nobody picked him up as he went right down the lane, had an uncontested layup. Mooney. Tagashi again. Dancing around. Now he explodes into the paint, puts up, oh boy, what a little flick that was at the end. Cuts it back to a five point deficit. The guards have been very good today. Now Kishimoto launches. Good, another one for him. He's got a couple of threes. Co Flippin has been firing them in as well, and uh, Ryuka Golden Kings go back up by eight points. And now Duncan called for the moving screen. So he has to exit stage right. Kishimoto also leaves the court uh, to catch a breather and Ono already bright-eyed and bushy-tailed looking uh, a little bit anxious over there on the sidelines. And you know what to expect when Narito Namizato checks into the game. He just has now Imamura. Hamilton also in the game for the Golden Kings. Imamura and Gavin Edwards has just checked in. Rebounds the miss for Chiba Jets. And the ball batted away and another easy one. Uh-oh, look at this. 
One of the smallest men on the court, Skies. Co flipping. And it's a 10 point advantage. And another miss. And Co flipping with the rebound. Chris Smith also in the game. He's guarding the basketball. And the basketball batted over to Tagashi. His pass to Mooney, knocked out of his hands by Imamura. And then Imamura is whistled for the foul. Now, the way this team has played this season and the way they look today, you have to say they might just be the team to beat the Ryuku Golden Kings. Onodera coming into the game. And also coming in for Chiba Jets, Raita Kaho, the shooting guard, small forward. Mooney, meanwhile, bends the knees, puts it up and in, and the free throw line has been very important today for Chiba Jets as they search for some type of rhythm. Look at his uh, right triceps. He's got all kinds of uh, scratch marks. You can see he's been in the battles down low. And nice stroke up from Mooney. Clotera also in the game for the Golden Kings, or we call him uh, Hall, period. And three point shot, no, or excuse me, the uh, long jump shot, no good. Imamura, though, does let it fly. And another attempt, and this time uh, they pay the price, Imamura. Third bite at the cherry on the offensive rebound. Smith backs his way down low. Even more, he's all over the place right now, folks. He's everywhere. And Kotera fouled by Smith. Oh, no, excuse me. It was not. Foul on uh, Jack Cooley. Off the ball. Let's see. Yeah. Just caught Smith a little bit. Smith dumps it. And Mooney, good job defensively. Hamilton getting in his way. And Imamura, this time off target. Caho with a little runner and reaching a foul. On Odera with a little bit of a push. Mitsuhara also in the game now, number 32. Well, the free throw line has been the best part of their attack today, their offense. And right when I say that, they miss. Before that, Chiba Jets had hit all five of their attempts, but now they are five of six. And 220 remains in this opening quarter. They're having a hard time keeping that scoreboard ticking over. Namizato's pass. Now he gets it back, Namizato. And Edwards gets it over to Tagashi. Uh, there's some explosive players in this Chiba Jets team. The Ryuku Golden Kings will be full, fully aware of that. Now Smith is fouled. A lot of, uh, in fact, the fouls accumulating. 
So it looks like it's on Onodera. That's his second. Yeah, yeah there's no doubt. He needs to get his hands off of uh, Smith. Got to move his feet. So again, where they've been overall pretty good today at the line and Smith uh, uses a little bit of everything, the, the rim, the backboard. looking stroke from number 34 so he cuts that deficit back to eight points here under two minutes remaining in the first quarter and Amizato getting into a little bit of trouble and good hustle Akaho able to get rid of the basketball before he could be tied up and now Edwards holding up and now the dump pass and Mooney comes in from the base, from the baseline, from the corner. Well, when struggling, turn to your defense. Try to get something from your defense, and they did that time. Although, to be fair, they were, they were patient. They didn't rush it. Mitsuhara. Hampton, bounce pass. Ball saved in bounds. Triggers a little break here for Tagashi. Oh, almost traveled. Kaho, wide open. Good. Here comes Chiba Jets now, right at the end of the quarter and the final minute, pulling to within 21 to 18. And it's uh, been Ryuku Golden Kings. They've been their own worst enemy. A couple of turnovers uh, being punished. Oh, Chiba Jets won the meeting uh, between these two teams uh, earlier, 92 to 87, and uh, Golden Kings would like to like to get one over on them today. Of course, uh, Chiba Jets were at home on that occasion. So much experience, and of course, all of you know, not all of them, but a lot of these players having uh, won the title last season so supremely confident full of self-belief fujinaga coming into the game number 15 uh, for chiba jets so coach okatani's team's had a double digit lead today but right now they're uh, just trying to keep this chiba jets team at bay and a little bit of a different wrinkle defensively being offered by Chiba Jets has kind of thrown them out of their stride a little bit. A little 3-2 zone. And almost another turnover, Mitsuhara. And look at that, Chris Smith. And in the end, they get nothing. And Ryuku Golden Kings, despite having called a timeout, are not functioning. And Coach Oketani, a little bit frustrated. I think uh, Mitsuhara might have had a little bit more time than he realized. Tried to take the shot. Well, they could tie it with a three-pointer here or pull to within one. Akaho to Mooney right at the elbow. And that soft touch, he gets a friendly little bounce. And Chiba Jets have come all the way back to trail by just one point. They trailed by as many as 11. Pass to the corner, and the shot was not released in time from Onodera. And, uh, well, a little bit symptomatic of how that last couple of minutes went. 
If it could go wrong, it did go wrong for Ryuku Golden Kings at the end of the opening quarter. Nevertheless, they still lead it 21 to 20. Well, fans seeing one of the highlight real plays of the first quarter, Co Flippin and his uh, slam dunk. Look at that. Boy, the technology these days is incredible that you can look at it <laughs> uh, with that camera. Great work and showing everybody the hops, his vertical leap coming to a slam dunk contest near you, Co Flippin. Here's a look back at some of the highlights. Tagashi got it going. Kishimoto had a couple of three-pointers. And then Imamura coming up with the steal and unselfishly giving it to Ko Flippin for that dunk that everybody was just celebrating. Threw it down with some authority, didn't he, Ko Flippin? So back uh, almost uh, where they started from, Ryuko Golden Kings as Evans comes back into the game, as Kishimoto comes back into the game. Hampton remains in the game. Here's Smith for three. And... A chance for the home team to push their lead back up. So Namizato stays in the game. Kishimoto more of a, a two-guard role in the corner. Great block, though, by Kaho. And then a foul midcourt. I believe Smith was tripped up, and he's looking for an unsportsmanlike foul. Watch this. Namizato and Akaho says, not in your house. <laughs> Fujinaga lobs it and Smith went up and he was fouled. Looks like by Evans, who was up in the heavens. Ooh, boy, that's a tough call on Evans. Looked like that was pretty good defense. I agree with you. So Smith bends the knees and back at the familiar spot, the free throw line where he's been good today. He's now made three. So he converts both opportunities and Chiba Jets have taken the lead. Evans puts it on the deck, gets inside, puts it up and in. And 
Now the steal and... The whistle blows. Uh, Fujinaga called for the foul. So they're going to check Fujinaga out. Looks like he's in a little bit of pain. He's going to limp out of the game. Hopefully he's going to be okay. I don't think there's a check on him. And now he's going to sit down and uh, get some treatment. And hopefully that will not stiffen up. Evans. Convinced to turn over. Now Hamilton gets it down low. Puts it up and in. Boy, that was a tough finish. Especially with Gavin Edwards right beside him. Uh, but Edwards did not look like he was going to go up for the block. So Ryuku back in front by three points. I'll see it in the game. Number 24, and now the turnover, and Evans again, and the Golden Kings suddenly have all the momentum. Evans this time called for the personal. Evans bends the knees and misses the first. However, he does make the second and stretches the lead to four points. So Evans with five points. Smith, well, it's a tough shot. Hampton rebounds. Evans passes up to three, attacks, goes right at Mooney. Good help defense from Gavin Edwards. Kishimoto going for his third three. Good rebound down low by Co Flippin. Now Evans, he misses, and Smith finally gets it for Chiba Jets. Okur also in the game, 13 Chiba Jets, and now the foul from behind. Sato looks like he may have caught Kishimoto. Watch this from the right. Oh, didn't look that bad when it happened. Kishimoto was a little bit dazed. He gets up. And... Well, the player that you need in there for those uh, rebounding battles, Jack Cooley, has just checked back into the game. Not 
Yamizato. Kishimoto. Three guard lineup for the Golden Kings. Here he goes. Kishimoto into the paint. A little runner, and he's fouled, and they're going to count it. Look at this. Yeah, that was definitely a hold on Sato. Great play by Kishimoto, who has uh, got eight points. Misses, but Evans gets the offensive rebound. It's a four-point trip down the floor. Evans now with seven points. Jets already with four fouls in the quarter, so Golden Kings will be shooting some free throws uh, probably quite a bit in this frame. Now the dump and well read by Evans. He gets ahead on the break now. Almost a turnover. In fact, it was. I thought maybe he traveled. And it leads to an opportunity for Smith. He gets it to Mooney. Oh, boy, what a huge turn of events that was. Four-point swing. Looked like uh, Golden Kings were moving down. They go up by 10 points, but their turnover leads to an easy bucket. As so often is the case in basketball, things like that can change on a dime. And great passing. We've seen it a couple of times from Chiba. They like to get out in the open floor. Oh, behind the back pass. Thrills the fans, but they end up turning it over again. Now Tagashi gets it back. Edwards, or Edwards can't get it to drop. Now Cooley, look out. And he powers his way up for a layup. Smith back outside, Edwards, count it! And 34 years of age and still drilling the three ball. Now another three attempt and that one is Imamura. He's got six points. And enjoying the moment. Also has four rebounds. Here's another look. He is not shy. So Imamura is still smiling as he heads over to the bench. His team up 35 to 27, just past the midpoint of this second quarter. Co-Flippin with 10 points, leading the way for Golden Kings. In fact, that's a game high. Eight points for Mooney is pacing Chiba Jets. Also, Kishimoto has been really good today with eight points. Seven for Evans. Imamura has six after that three-pointer.
Tagashi has three assists to go with his five points. And Tagashi now brings the ball up the floor. So 35-27. Mitsuhara missing it, and Mitsuhara taps it over to his guard. That's what they say, get it to your guard. Kula does a great job of establishing himself in that low post, and there was nothing that Shudahara was going to be able to do with him. Although, to be fair, didn't look like he did too much wrong there. But this is the problem you get... Too many fouls. You put the other team on the line early, but Cooley, fortunately for Chiba Jets, misses with his first attempt. Hey. And he misses both, and his uh, fellow Notre Dame man, Mooney, comes down with a rebound. When I say Notre Dame, they both played American college basketball at Notre Dame. Albeit not at the same time. And now the ball starts. Nope. And Duncan could not control it. Kishimoto in the break. Hands it over to Co Flippin, who floats in, misses, but there's Cooley for the putback. Well, this uh, Chiba Jets team is hard to figure out today. The way they came back and took the lead, but uh, Kishimoto reaching in and opportunistically finally gets the basketball. And Co Flippin has just been flipping good. He has 12, got 12 points now. Evans also has been active. He's got seven points, a couple of steals. He does have two fouls, as does Onodera. But I'm sure he'll live with that as long as he doesn't get a third in this first half. And coolly blowing kisses to the crowd. Not sure why. Not sure why. We've just seen him score his first uh, two buckets. He's got four points. Four rebounds. Duncan decides not to shoot it from three. Shudahara down low to Mooney. Guarded by Mitsuhara. Mooney. Turn around. And Mitsuhara with the board. Imamura now, who's been a live wire today. Backing up to Gashi, turns, puts it up and in. He really is tough. Tagashi steps back from three. And Cooley with another rebound, make that five. Appears to be on his way to a double-double today. Cole Flippin picks up the dribble over to Imamura. Flipping from downtown. This is right about the time at the uh, end of the first quarter when Chiba Jets kind of found their stride and stormed back. See if, see if they can do it again. Tagashi from three. And Mooney pushed by Co Flippin.
So Namizato comes in for co flipping. And Cooley, after the foul, appealing for an unsportsmanlike, is not going to get it. Kind of banging down low there. <laughs> Imamura triples in. Dumps it to Cooley. Now it triggers a break. Tagashi probing his way. Decides to bring it back out. Duncan. And Mitsuhara called for the push. Not really seeing any arm bars there. A lot of hands from Mitsuhara. So Duncan and again, Chiba Jets at the free throw line today have been very good. 10 of 11 and it's been, uh, well, better than a third of their points. So it's been really a, a good development when they can get to the free throw line. Duncan makes both to cut it back to a 10 point deficit for Chiba Jets. To the top team in the East going up against the top team in the West and the team with the best record in the B League, Ryuku Golden Kings. Three pointer and not there, but there's the rebound and put back from Jack Cooley. That's the fact. Jack, he does it again. Six points for Cooley. And driving in and missing was Edwards. They save it in bounds. And Golden Kings with their biggest lead of the game. 12 points looking to stretch it further. They might just do it. No, Mitchell turns. And I think if he'd gone straight up, he would have been better off, but he kind of waited. And made the shot harder. Boy, Duncan almost traveled and also passed up a layup. Tagashi for three, and it's a good thing he did. Well, that is a five-point swing. Had Mitsuhara, Mitsuhara scored, they would have gone up by 14 points. Uh, but Tagashi is he's getting in his threes today. And he makes that one. So he's got eight points. And that is his first three-pointer of the day.
Well, one of the biggest differences in this game has been uh, the way that uh, Ryuka Golden Kings have either scored while attacking, getting the ball down low, or scoring with putbacks after offensive rebounds and getting 26 points in the paint uh, compared to just eight for Chiba Jets, which may be a little surprising. I mean, uh, Chiba Jets have attempted 13 threes. Just three more than uh, Ryuko Golden Kings. Of course, they did just hit one of them. Shudahara. Playing deep. Kishimoto. Wow. What a drive that was. And Shudahara called for the foul. Kishimoto plays like that, boy, you do not, you're not going to come out, you're not going to stop him. He might miss his shot, but he is almost impossible to track. So he goes to the line. And gets the first to drop. So it's been the one, it's been the Achilles heel for this uh Golden Kings team today. They had made just one of five before that attempt, so now two of six and three of seven. Matsumoto checks into the game for his first action here in the final minute of the first half. Tagashi rims out. Cooley flew in. Another rebound for him. Zato dribbles around. Nami Zato gets it to the corner. Matsumoto. Imamura. That's his play. Misses, but there. Look who it is again. Put back for Jack Cooley. Eight rebounds to go with his eight points. And missing it from downtown at the end was Tagashi. Oh, boy, that almost went in. I don't think that would have counted, but well, quite a performance from the Ryuka Golden Kings. They actually blew a big early lead and trailed, but then came back and outscored Chiba 24 to 12 in that second quarter. They lead it 45 to 32 at the break.
Well, here's a look back at the first half here between Ryuko Golden Kings and Chiba Jets. It's, uh, it's been a very good performance from the Golden Kings, leading it 45 to 32. Of course, uh, they stormed out to a big double-digit lead early on. Co Flippin leading the way. He's got probably had 12 points. But he's got 10 points, and uh, he's been scoring in and around the basket. He's had a sensational dunk. And speaking of dunk, Duncan uh, came out and dribbled uh, a big three-pointer as Chiba Jets came back and actually took the lead, having been down by double digits in the first quarter. They took the lead uh, early in the second. Uh, but Imamura showing his unselfish qualities, getting it to his teammate, Ko Flippin, who goes up for that dunk I was telling you about. Tagashi uh, getting it over to Mooney, who's had a couple of nice dunks as well. Uh, for Chiba Jets. A lot of basketball to be played in this one. Uh, but you get the feeling as we get a, a look back at Akaho's jumper uh, that this Golden Kings team is going to be tough to be denied today uh, playing here in front of their loud home crowd in Okinawa. Dwayne Evans, seven points for him and... Also, Kishimoto has uh, been really difficult to contain. He's got 10 points. That's the other dunk from Mooney, who has eight points uh, for the visitors. Gavin Edwards came out, and, uh, well, you could expect him maybe to be more of a factor in the second half. Imamura, how about him? He was terrific. Everything about, I loved everything that he was doing. He's got eight points, four rebounds. And then Jack Cooley uh, does what Jack Cooley does best. Crashed the offensive boards, scored with putbacks. Uh, Tagashi did finally uh, get a three-pointer to drop. Remember, he also hit the three free throws early on. But as we see the stats, uh, Ryuka Golden Kings, if they shot their free throws better, uh, they'd be even further ahead. But as it is, it's the free throw line that has kept Chiba Jets within striking distance. Uh, they have made 12 of 13. Uh, but the, the rebounding totals, it's just incredible. Ryuko Golden Kings, 27, including nine offensive rebounds uh, to just 13 rebounds uh, for Chiba Jets. And you know Coach Ono is talking to uh, his players that they've got to get better, uh, both teams. Uh, with four makes from three-point range, but Chiba uh, with a lower percentage, much lower down at 26.7%. Co Flippin going up against his former team has uh, been doing the business today. And you look, going up against his former teammate, he's got 10 points. Also has uh, the three rebounds, the one assist, and... Three assists to go with his eight points for Tagashi. If Ko Flippin uh, stepped out of the shadow of Tagashi by moving to Ryuko Golden Kings, uh, maybe that's one reason why this team also has uh, kind of been maybe the best team in the B League this season. I think a lot of people would say that. So again, Ko Flippin with the 10 points. Also Kishimoto with 10 points. He's been terrific. And Imamura with the eight points, as I mentioned. Uh, also eight for Jack Cooley and seven for Evans. And for Chiba Jets, uh, you've got eight apiece for Tagashi and Mooney. Five points for Duncan and four apiece for Akaho. And Smith, and Smith may be another player like Gavin Edwards that might be more of a factor in this second half for Chiba Jets. And it looks like Fujinaga is moving around okay, so that's good news. Remember, he had to leave the game after uh, going for the basketball when it was on, on the court. On the floor, he got on the floor, but so did a uh, big Gary Hamilton. I 
Here he is, number two. And he's been also quite a presence. He's got five rebounds to go with his two points. Also an assist and a steal. Ruku Golden Kings will get the first possession of the second half. Hamilton. Imamura. If we get the double digits, Evans into the corner. Kishimoto. Another three pointer. Or no, excuse me, that was Narizato. Namizato with the three, and the lead goes to 16. So Kishimoto not in the starting five here at the start of the second half. Plenty of options at the guard spot for Ryuko Golden King. Shot clock winding down, and Duncan does not get it to drop. There's Hamilton with the putback note. Gets it back to Evans for three. That comes off an offensive rebound yet again. And Evans with 10 points. And the rebounding has been decisive. Driving in. Oh, boy, that was a tough finish from Mooney. Evans goes right to Mooney, and a foul called. So Chiba Jets making a change, bringing Smith into the game, number 34. And up 18 points, an opportunity for Coach Okatani to get as many uh, players in the game as he wants, really, at this, as it continues to uh, go Ryuku Golden King's way. Smith goes behind his back. Takes it all the way and doesn't get it to fall. Imamura, another three, and it is good. And the foul also off the ball on Smith pushing Evans. So possession will remain at this end of the court. Oh, gosh. Boy, it's going from bad to worse here in the third quarter for the defending champions, Chiba Jets. Imamura heads over to the bench. And we've got timeout. Coach Atsushi Ono trying to get his players on the same page. Meanwhile, Golden Kings, I don't think they can ask for anything to go better the way they have gone so far. Look at that Kishimoto doing the coaching. Coach Kishimoto, that would be a nice ring to it. So that was Mooney's basket for the, but this third quarter has been all Ha <laughs> ha. 
it's been all Ryuku Golden Kings and Smith getting uh, some type of explanation over there. But I mean, the bottom line is you can't throw your throw your uh, shoulder into somebody and push them over like he did. So Imamura comes back out. He's got 11 points, five rebounds. Again, he's going to inbound the basketball, having made the three to get into double digits because of the foul that Chris Christopher Smith made on Dwayne Evans. 22-point advantage, the biggest of the game. Evans, open, and another one. And, boy, they are really laying it on right now. Fans will probably be thinking it's not going to be this easy in the playoffs, but boy, they are really laying the wood to a, a, a good Chiba Jets team. Shudahara. Well, terrific move, but doesn't get it to drop. And the basketball is going to stay at this end. This is Shudahara. He misses, and let's see. They were arguing that he came down with the ball. Uh, but really, when you're up 25 points, it doesn't matter. Just play. Mooney. And certainly, maybe some of the intensity hasn't been there today for Chiba Jets. And the bad news for them is that Evans has really started to uh, get in the flow, co flipping. Over to the left, and they dodge a bullet. Imamura almost forcing the turnover. Quick pass down low to Shudahara. Fine Mooney just hit a shot. And how about that? A chance for a three-point play. Shudahara going to work on co flipping. That's what you call flipping it over flipping. Watch this. Well, no, that was a shot. Full marks to him. Co flipping thought he did a good job moving his feet, but I guess he kind of uh, moved into Shudahara. And right now it's a horror show. Goes to the line for a three point play and gets it to drop. Gets it back to a 20 point deficit. That's right, folks. 20 points. And the Chiba Jets decide they really want to go for it. This will be interesting. Still plenty of weapons on the bench, though, for the Golden Kings. And Quick pass to Mooney. Oh, goodness me. Did you see that? He threw it down right on top of Evans. And if we see this run continue, I wouldn't be surprised to get a timeout over there on that Ryuku Golden Kings bench. Flipping misses everything. And suddenly you feel like anything is possible for Chiba Jets. Mooney. Shudahara. And that is an offensive foul on Shudahara. He kind of hesitated, waited for the contact uh, from Co Flippin, but kind of raised his right arm and called him. Watch this. Well, that was a missed opportunity, and it was a good play by Flippin. So Shudahara takes a seat.
Coming back into the game, number 13, Okura. Played just under three and a half minutes in the first half. Also, Josh Duncan coming back in. Imamura gets it over to Evans, and he is bumped by Akaho, who's come back in. Evans saved it. And Evans hits another three-pointer. Wow, he is well and truly in command right now offensively. 18 points. He had seven at halftime. He's got 11 in the third quarter. And we still got five minutes remaining in the third. And Tagashi does a terrific job and gets fouled on his drive. So, and one coming for Tagashi. Boy, I don't know what Hamilton was doing there. Just slapped him on the backside as he ran past. Onodera comes back into the game. Nishimoto as well. Kishimoto as well, excuse me. So the Golden Kings and Tagashi has uh, cut that deficit back to 18. No, Evans, everything he's putting up is going in. And he gets fouled that time by Duncan. Man, Evans is just taking over the game. Edwards comes back into the game. Evans already with 18 points, makes the first. So 20 points for Dwayne Evans. With 14 minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Still time for Chiba Jets. Tagashi. Edwards gives it up. Tagashi, quick pass back to Edwards. Nice give and go. Evans tries to get the baseline. He can't find it, but they pass the ball around. Cooley. And that's the fact Jack Cooley puts up another two and having a hard time cutting into this deficit right now. Chiba. Boy, Tagashi hands it off, and Mooney scored. Chance for a three-point play. I thought Tagashi should have tried the, the reverse layup, but he made the right decision in the end. So the foul on Cooley with the reach.
Well, they'd like to get it down to a 10-point deficit by the end of the quarter, if they could. Uh, but they've struggled. They haven't really been able to stop this Golden Kings team. And another open look and another basket. Shimoto. Smith, the dump to Mooney. Oh boy, what a catch. He's made it look like so easy, didn't he? He was having himself a nice game, 18 points. Shot clock violation means the basketball will go over to the visiting team. Shot by Okura. And now down to a 14 point game. Gets a little bit interesting here for the Chiba Jets. Golden Kings. They've been in command, but this thing is not over. Mitsuhara hands it off. Kishimoto. Bounce pass back to Mitsuhara. And well, they left him wide open, and he said, Okay, I'll prove to you I can make this shot. Leans into it. down the lane and scores with that left hand. Kishimoto, offensive foul, however. So Matsumoto. Call for a moving screen. Uh, Tagashi, boy, great play. Got it to Mooney, but he doesn't catch it. Take on Mooney, and the double team comes. Here comes uh, Edwards after getting the steal. Smith, oh boy, what a zigzag move, and Kishimoto reaches in and commits the foul. Boy, a lot of ball there from Kishimoto. Maybe a little unfortunate not to come up uh, or to have the foul called. I think it still would have been their basketball. They haven't played that great today, Chiba Jess, but the one thing they've done is shot free throws exceptionally well. 16 of 17. Now, seven, now 17 of 18. And back to a 12-point game. We're very close to an over and back there. Good defense. Kishimoto into the corner, Mitsuhara, 
And Jax Cooley, another offensive rebound. Might have got away with an offensive foul, the hook. And quickly, Smith over to Mooney. Oh, boy, nice Euro step from Mooney. And it's a 10-point game. So we'll see if they can hold it for the last shot. Kishimoto. Mitsuhara, that's an air ball. He had Matsumoto open as well. Well, the comeback is on, folks. Chiba Jets look dead and buried, but here they are right back in it. It's uh, Ryuko Golden Kings leading it at the end of three, 70 to 60 over Chiba Jets. Well, it's one thing to get on top of a team, and it's something else entirely to put that team away. They've led by 25 points in this game. The Ryuku Golden Kings, but Chiba Jets have uh, trimmed the deficit down to just 10 points with 10 minutes remaining. back to some of these highlights from the third quarter and it really did look like uh, this thing was close to being signed sealed and delivered uh, but all it takes is just a little bit of easing up for a team and a run and this Chiba Jets team has uh, been pretty good about rising from the dead a couple of times today question now is can they maintain the momentum that they've built uh, since we've had the quarter break Smith bumped by Kishimoto I'm not sure they may have called that. Yeah, they did. I thought they may have called it on Matsumoto. And, oh boy, Mooney, terrific job of uh, getting the basketball back. Just 3.1 seconds remains on the shot clock. Smith in the paint and gets the drop and it's an eight point game folks don't look now but the Chiba Jets are alive and kicking the Uka Golden Kings have just lost need to get something positive going again and the bounce pass, what a play from Mitsuhara, and then he deserved an assist on that. Uh, but the finish wasn't there. Onadero should have had that one. Edwards passes up to three. Smith, he's been active. Back to Edwards for three. Good! And we've got a five-point game. They have shaved 20 points off the deficit. Okay, so it looks like maybe they've given him a two and not a three. So it's a, uh, anyway, they've uh, cut it back to a six point deficit.
Uh, Chiba Jets playing with a lot of pride uh, since about midway through that third quarter. And asking uh, a lot of questions right now of Ryuku Golden Kings. And you wonder psychologically what this would do if they would be able to win this in view of what might happen later on in the championship. Remember also, they won the first meeting and there's Mooney knocking the basketball out of bounds. So Akaho checks back in for Chiba Jets. Kishimoto makes the inbounds pass. And Christopher Smith called for a push. Third foul on Smith who is vital to the chances of Chiba Jets the way he's played in the second half. He now has 10 points, five assists, four rebounds. Namizato back in the game. Imamura as well at the free throw line. Hamilton back in, Dwayne Evans in. And Imamura makes the first. Only makes one of two. That is a huge disparity in free throws made today for both of these teams. Bounce pass. Boy, that was a good looking bounce pass, but led Akahu maybe just a little too much. So Fujinaga clearly okay after the uh, injury in the first half. Mizato gets it to Evans. Onodero wide open, nah, and it drops. First three-pointer of the game for Onodera. In fact, his first points of the game. And Duncan makes a good catch. Smith for three. Wow, that was big time. He's not ready for this Ryuku Golden Kings team to run away again. Closes the gap, back to seven. Silky smooth. Imamura. And Onodera called for the foul, the hold on Akaho. Tagashi checks in, his team trailing by nine, 639 remaining. 28 years of age. Mooney also comes back in, having had a quick breather. So Smith goes out, and uh, somebody's gonna have to pick up the slack with him out of the game, scoring-wise, because he has been their biggest weapon here of late. Okura over to Duncan. And Duncan just inside the free throw line. Seven points. Seven points for Duncan and seven points the difference. Evans. Imamura does not drop this time.
Sagashi, oh, falls down and then has it taken away. And oh, and that's almost an unsportsmanlike, potentially. And I think that's what Namizato is saying. And I think Togashi knows he's going to be lucky to get away. He's holding his uh, midsection. Uh, but it seemed to me he stuck his right leg out and tripped Namizato. Watch this. He's got his hands up. Yeah, and uh, everybody pointed to Togashi and that Ryuka Golden Kings team uh, to alert the referee that he had caused the trip. But I think he's lucky to get away with that one. Onadera. Oh, fakes the pass, puts it up and in. Tagashi to Mooney. And I think that's his third dunk of the game. Third or fourth. He is so strong when he catches it down low. Evans passes up the three, drifts in, and just looks like poetry in motion, doesn't he? Just glides into the to the paint. Five minutes remaining here in this uh, top of the table showdown. Well, the top of the standings from each, the East and the West, and the foul called. So four fouls on Onodera and timeout has been called. So you're looking at the some of the numbers here, and uh, Mooney has four rebounds to go with his game high, 23 points. Dwayne Evans has 22 points for Ryuko Golden Kings, and Kofi Flippin still stuck on 10 points. So it hasn't really been a factor offensively in the second half. Would not be surprised to see Co Flippin get some scoring opportunities here late in the game. Big free throws for Chiba Jets. I like Okura. He's been he's been good since coming into the game. He's cut it back to an eight-point deficit. 
Takes his time, makes both. Good looking shot at the free throw line. Boy, their free throw shooting has been absolutely fantastic. 20 of 21. Flipping to Hamilton. Back to Flippin and has it taken away by Smith, but fouled by Smith. So four fouls on Christopher Smith. And I guess they call the body after he reaches in. So Co Flippin inbounds the basketball. Shot clock down to 10. Evans going up against Mooney. Back to Co Flippin. Flippin spins, hands it off Hamilton. Oh, he gets swatted right at the end. Great play by Smith, who has the four fouls and still made the play. Look at this. Beautiful play by Flippin. And then Smith. Even with the foul trouble, able to go up and get the rejection. Mooney. Oh, boy, that was big. He couldn't get a drop. Hard to take issue with what he's done today, though. That was even a good-looking shot. Evans, meanwhile, at the other end. And the Dwayne Evans decides he's going to be the game's leading scorer. 25 points for Dwayne Evans. Tagashi puts it up. Tried to get a foul called, not there. Three and a half minutes remaining. And it looks like you feel like another basket would be a real dagger. And Evans misses a chance. The Chiba Jets. Smith, another three, and just like that, they stay within striking distance. Three minutes remaining. Co Flippin, a little runner. Mooney rebounds quickly to Tagashi. Now he takes his time, bringing it up the court. Darts into the paint. They swing it. Edwards. Okura. Mooney. Oh, beautiful feed down low, and Edwards scores. And once again, it's a five-point lead, 237 remaining. You go back to that, that chance for Dwayne Evans. Had he hit that three-pointer? It might have put it out of reach, but uh, this Chiba Jets team has hung around, hung around, great offensive set. And again, remember, their free throw shooting has helped them stay in the game today. In fact, I said they were 20 of 21. They're actually 19 of 20. 95%. That is very impressive. Well, Christopher Smith has to live on the edge because he has those four fouls. Uh, but he has been able to make some plays. Made a great defensive play. He's hit another three-pointer. I mean, he has been sensational in the second half today. He's got 16 points. He is two of three from deep, two of five inside the arc. But he's also got five assists, four rebounds. And He's got that one block, also a couple of steals. Okura's been ni a nice little addition to the lineup as well. And Mooney, of course, has been 
Uh, the main man with 23 points. Togashi has 11. Just one of seven from three-point range. Edwards hasn't really forced too much today. He's got nine points. He's made his only three. And, you know, if you get some stops, you got some chances here. Now they're going to put some pressure full court, and they were ready for it. They break it easily. Cooley back in the game. Makes life a little bit harder on the boards for Chiba Jets. Here's Evans. Evans. Oh, boy, that, that is one heck of a play by Evans. Wow. Herculean effort by him. Just an absolutely sensational play. And I think Smith committed the foul, so he's out of the game. Look at this, the reach. Unless they called it on Edwards. So indeed, it was on Smith. I tell you that it has taken a utterly fantastic drive by Dwayne Evans and really overall his effort today to beat Chiba Jets because without him, I don't think they even come close to the way Chiba Jets have been able to stay with it. Tough luck for uh, Christopher Smith, but Evans has been undeniably unstoppable. So that pushes the lead back to eight points, two minutes and 10 seconds remaining. Tagashi, it's about time for him to hit another shot. He puts it up and doesn't drop. Front and back of the rim and stayed out. Imamura. And the Golden Kings not in any rush here. Kishimoto, you definitely don't want to foul with the shot clock having come down. Now Kishimoto and Mooney over to Tugashi, who quickly gets it up the floor. 140 remaining. No time to, to waste. Tugashi comes off the three-point line and tried to make a pass to Duncan, but it was well covered by Iamomura. And again, no rush for Ryuku Golden Kings. More than happy to allow time uh, to tick off the clock here at the end. The drive, the basket is good. Oh, Imamura has been so good today. He deserves a couple of baskets here at the, at the end just to kind of emphasize how excellent he has been. Look at this. So 16 points for Imamura, along with five rebounds and an assist. Gets a pat on the head from the coach. And you wonder if they've just put that thing out of reach, up 10 points. So 28 for Dwayne Evans, clearly the player of the game. 30, excuse me, 16 points as well for Imamura. 12 points for Kishimoto and 10 apiece for Cooley and Co. Flippin. Mooney, as we said, he's got 23 points uh, to lead the way for Chiba Jets. Smith is fouled out of the game with 16 points. Tagashi has 11. And Edwards has got those nine points. All smiles for the Golden Kings fans, the cheerleaders, everybody, as their team, uh, through the, uh, really the brilliance of uh, Dwayne Evans here late, they've been able to put some more distance between themselves and Chiba Jets. Jack Cooley needs one more rebound, and he'll have his double-double. He's got 10 points. And a three-point shot is good from Okura. Wow. And that just about keeps him in it right here at the end. 
down seven. Now if they can get a steal. Evans fouled by Okura or Duncan. Well, they're over the limit, so free throws coming. Evans just putting an exclamation mark on his performance today. He's got 30 points after those two free throws. And the Golden Kings up 90 to 81. Less than a minute remaining. Well, Tagashi's had an off shooting uh, day today. He has only made three of 10 shots from the floor, one of eight from three point range. If he'd been able to connect on a couple of those, this would be a much different story. Akaho and Mooney rebounds to miss. Okura and the three pointer is good. Definitely a player to keep an eye on Okura. If that hasn't occurred to you before, he has been lights out. Kishimoto thinking he might get a foul called. Now they've got it, and you don't want to foul this late. Akaho. Well, I guess they did want to foul. Just they're going for the steal. If they couldn't get the steal, then get the foul. Uh, but there's only nine seconds on the shot clock. Those, uh, those guys are from the bench. Uh, appreciating that effort to bring the net down. Here is Kishimoto. Makes the first. 13 points. Five assists. And Catches in on both opportunities. Togashi. Oh boy, that was almost a foul from the Kings. Here is a three pointer from Edwards. Not there. Evans rebounds the miss. Kishimoto. And I'm guessing Chiba Jets are not going to commit any more fouls. Well, Chiba Jets made a good run of it in the second half. But I think uh, the mountain was maybe just a little too big. And especially with Dwayne Evans out there coming out and making some huge plays. Pretty sure he'll be speaking after the game. 30 points for Dwayne Evans leading the way 
Coach Lippin helped set the tone early on. Uh, but Ryuku, Golden Kings with the best record in Japan, win it 92-84 over Chiba Jets. Imamura and uh, everybody just played so well offensively in terms of uh, getting into double digits for Ryuku Golden Kings. You can see they actually were outscored in the second half, uh, 52 to 47, but they had done uh, some great work in the first half. Went, you know, they went to halftime on top, 45-32, and it was just too much to overcome, especially. Uh, they built a 25-point lead, and they had to expend a lot of energy. And now let's go down to the court and listen to uh, some of the players and the coaches. Yes, え、結果やっぱり皆さんの声援のおかげで僕たちはいつも以上の力が出ました。本当にありがとうございます。え、So, Okitami thanks uh, all of the players for their efforts today. Also, for the season, the regular season, and pleased with all of the support. Well, no surprise, we're going to see Dwayne Evans come out and offer his thoughts. Come on, what? Fans appreciating his greetings in Japanese. たち、うん、試合勝って嬉しいだけど、シーズンの最後頑張ります。That's um, about all I got. Um, thank you guys so much. This was a really special game, and uh, it was really fun for us. And we look forward to playing a few more in front of you guys this season. Thank you. Well, before those English remarks, he really uh, thrilled the crowd speaking in Japan, Japanese, saying we won this game and we felt we were very happy and we played it so hard. And Jack Cooley needs to appreciate the effort as well. Mitsuhara. <laughs> There's a fan of Imamura, and she's going to hear him. Uh, first of all, I'm going to say that I'm going to be a good guy. 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 I'm going え、ま、コンディショニングだったりはあると思うんですけど、それでもまだまだ成長できる段階はあると思うので、
、えー、このアリーナで皆さんと一緒に成長していければいいなと思うので引き続き応援よろしくお願いします。So he, he said, everybody,、uh, good night. First, thanks so much for all the support in this place.、Uh, we will grow up always. Also, Co Flippin's going to come out and offer some remarks. Excuse me. Hi, Mina san. Kyo, Taksan, Oe, Moratara, Hontoni, and Gato Zanusha. Uh, beautiful crowd, love all you guys, but we got a lot more to do, so we need to see you guys this weekend and in the playoffs. And you're just going to get us. So he just said that、uh, again, thank you for your enormous support.、Um, again,、uh, with this weekend and going to the CS, we still have a lot,、uh, lot to accomplish, so、uh, we ask you for your continued support. Is, is that right? You, you, you <laughs> He said, "Then I, you're going to ask me. So,、uh, you know,、uh, thank you very much, and continue for、uh, well, thank you for the support." Thank you very much. We're getting a real、uh, mixture of Japanese and English being spoken here in the post-game remarks from the Ryuko Golden Kings and、uh, Coach Flippin, making it clear that、uh, there is still a long, a lot. To do for this team that has accomplished so much during this regular season, that just seems to have come together, and even when facing some adversity late, when it looked like they might be blowing a big lead, they were able to come out and finish things off. But it、uh, seems to always be exciting in the、uh, in the B League action. You can never count out a team, even if you get up on them by double digits, and that was certainly the case today、uh, for the visiting Chiba Jets, the defending champions. Who trailed by 25 points, but battled back and pulled to within five late. But uh, uh, the Golden Kings held on. And as you look back at some of the highlights,、uh, again, I'll just go over some of the numbers: 30 points for Dwayne Evans, 16 for Imamura, 14 for Kishimoto. Ten apiece for Jack Cooley and Co. Flip and Cooley, in fact, did not get that late rebound, so he finished、uh, without that double double. Ten points and nine rebounds.、Uh, but Imamura,、uh, terrific all-round effort for him, and、uh, Namizato coming off the bench had four assists to go with his three points. Five assists to go with、uh, 14 points for Kishimoto and for Chiba Jets.、Uh, again, give them credit; they didn't go away. They stuck with it. And、uh, Mooney had a good account of himself: 10 of 14 from the floor,、um, seven rebounds, three assists to go with his 23 points. 16 points for Chris Christopher Smith, who was.、Uh, Just terrific in the second half, doing a little bit of everything to help his team、uh, come back and make it a game. He had five assists, four rebounds, also a couple of steals. But he fouled out of the game, and when he fouled out, they lost a weapon. And I really like the play as well of Okura, who、uh, ended up playing almost 20 minutes. He played 19 minutes, in fact. And was three of five from three-point range. He was hustling. He had three assists. Also,、uh, we had、uh, Tagashi, who was、uh, three of ten from the floor, but just one of eight from three-point range. And ultimately, what kept him in the game again, or one of the reasons why they were able to stay in the game. Despite falling behind by 25 points, was the fact that、uh, they were able to make 19 of their 20 free throws. Chiba Jets.
Uh, that comparing to 13 of 18 at the line for the hometown Ryuku Golden Kings, who, again, these two teams, you never know, they could end up meeting in the championship. At some point, they met in the semifinals last year, and Chiba Jets won that one. This is one of Tagashi's baskets. He had 11 points. And Chris Smith again. I think maybe the, the maybe what I'm wondering is uh, today Duncan and Edwards combined for seven points. Gavin Edwards. Is that right? Yeah, Duncan had seven points. Excuse me, no, I was wrong. Uh, nine points for Gavin Edwards. Uh, so 16 points. Maybe you could get a little bit more, especially from Duncan. Uh, but then again, he's not forcing the issue. He's taking the, the shots and, and uh, running in, in the flow of the offense. Evans uh, could not have done anything more today than what he did. That's for sure. If he plays that well, this is a team that is capable of going deep in the championship and, and challenging for the title. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Evans... He's been good. He's been good all season, uh, averaging s almost 17 points a game, 7.2 rebounds. So he was well above his season high, t his season average today, with those 30 points. Uh, but also, what has to be constant is the defense, and especially in that first half, Ryuko Golden Kings defense was very, very good. So the 92-84 win, and you can digest some of the stats there. And again, the rebounding was uh, pretty decisive for Ryuko Golden Kings. Uh, they had 38 rebounds to 24 uh, for Chiba Jets. Limited uh, their second chance opportunities by allowing just five offensive rebounds. In fact, they had almost three times as many offensive rebounds. So Evans with the 30 points uh, had a game high, 23 for Mooney uh, in defeat. And then the leading rebounders, uh, nine for Cooley, seven for his fellow Notre Dame man, Mooney. And also the leading assist guys. And then the, again, as we've gone over the scores, I'll just say for Chiba Jets, as we look at the leading scores for Ryuku Golden Kings, Chiba Jets leading scores 23 for Mooney, 16 for Smith, 11 apiece for Akura and Togashi, and nine points for Gavin Edwards. So, uh, as you look at the graphics, as it is, the quarterfinal matchups. So, Utsunomiya Brex and Chiba Jets. And... I'll be bringing you uh, all of the action. Or much of the action. And there is the upcoming schedule as the regular season wraps up. So the Ryuku Golden Kings fans came, they saw... And they watched their team conquer 
uh, the Chiba Jets today in an impressive display here in Okinawa. Thanks for watching, everybody.